going on guys? My name is Grayson Greco. It's about 7 a.m. and I'm headed to Infantry Branch Officer Leaders Course in Fort Benning, Georgia. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. It should take me about seven and a half hours to get there. So a little bit about the lodging. If you are in the National Guard, you will stay at Abrams Hall, which is an IHG hotel. I think I mentioned it earlier. And it's a pretty nice hotel. Um, I'll show you guys my hotel room. So that's the front door. You got a little closet right here. You put your boots in obviously right there. You have a safe, my laundry, a little rack up top. You have to use high efficiency laundry detergent. So all your laundry detergent here has to have this little HE symbol on it. Um, so you have a nice little kitchenette. You got a little stove. I haven't actually used it yet. Uh, if you're in the National Guard, you actually get to eat at the OCS um, what's it called? DFAC for free every day for all your meals. So that's pretty cool. I got this giant 10 pound bag of protein powder, so that should last me a while. Um, you also have cooking stuff, so don't bring any pots or pans because they have it here. You got a microwave, coffee maker, sink, um, utensils, cups, all that kind of good stuff, some storage. So, uh, coffee, they bring you coffee. It's not bad. It's not the best, but it's pretty good coffee. You have the bathroom, a little kitchen area, a uh, reclining chair, nice bed. Like I, I said before, they make your bed every morning or every day. Um, you have a little, little office space. So, you'll be doing homework. One thing I would definitely suggest is to bring a printer with you. Uh, so you can print off your certifications and stuff like that. Um, got a little armoire so you can hang your stuff. So in the guard, you're obviously issued all of your gear at your unit. So I came with every single piece of my TA-50. And then we just got, we got issued all of our TA-50 for the course as well. So I have a whole lot of gear laying around. So we took a PT test on Tuesday morning and uh, did pretty well. I got a 327, or not 327, a 297 and um, max the push-ups, uh, max the sit-ups, but I did not max the run. Uh, it started pouring rain right before we ran the two mile and the track that you run the two mile on is a gravel track and it's actually like 0.1 miles longer than, two, than a one mile so you run two laps. It's a pretty difficult track to run on, I found. Plus, it, my shoes felt like they were like eight pounds each. And uh, it was just a difficult run. So that, not that that's an excuse. Um, as an infantry officer, we need to just be able to push through that anyway. Uh, but it definitely slowed me down and uh, didn't max that. So that's how the PT test went. Uh, didn't do as well as I wanted. Obviously, I really wanted to, to max it first thing. I'm kind of surprised that I did as well as I did on the push-ups. The push-ups, they enforce the ranger standard. Obviously, everything you do here really is for ranger school, preparing you to go to ranger school and pass that school. 
Um, so the standard's upheld all the way down, arms parallel, and then all the way back up, locking out your elbows. So they definitely will count your reps off in an instant. Um, so um, anyway, I did well. I got 77, and the max for my age is 77. So uh, I was happy about that. Um, so yeah. So there are gyms here on Fort Benning. Um, the hotel one is really weak. There's only treadmills, so um, that doesn't really suit what I want to do, working out my fitness goals. So there's one called Smith Gym. That's mostly machines. There's a rock climbing wall. Uh, what else is there? There's other cool stuff there, but really good equipment. So if, if you like machines, that's, that's your joint. Um, there's one also called the Audie Murphy Gym. And Audie Murphy is all about functional fitness, so more CrossFit type stuff. That's all I got for this video, guys. This has been week zero in processing and iBolic. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, like and subscribe to get notifications. I'm going to try to do these every week. If you have any suggestions or you have anything that you want to know specifically about Bullock, um, just ask and I'll try to find out the answer. Or if I've experienced it already, I'll be able to tell you what, I, what I've experienced with it. Um, but yeah, so I plan on doing these, um, you know, as I feel they're necessary just to help you guys. If you have any questions about uh, what Bullock is, what some of the aspects of Bullock are like, that's what I want to do these for. So it's not just for my own benefit or anything. I want to help people who are coming into it, specifically in the guard, because that's been my experience. So just to help you be better prepared as to what you're getting into. So until next time.